welcome to Cinema Trailer News, my name is Chris and this will be my breakdown for the post credit scene in Black Panther Wakanda Forever. So that's why we're talking spoilers, just to give you a heads up. So T'Challa has a son, and I guess some speculation is going to be an interesting discussion. And his son is named after him, and that's a way to keep T'Challa in the MCU, that's something a lot of T'Challa fans were nervous about. There might be a new Black Panther, but what about the legacy and continuing story of T'Challa, specifically in the comics? So this is kind of a walkaround, and you keep T'Challa technically in the MCU, was still honoring Charlie Boseman's original performance and legacy. I think though the real question is how they're going to edge him up so he can be an Avenger and how long is that going to take and until that happens what is going to happen with the Black Panther mantle and how about all these young Avengers that are popping out like daisies so first off Letitia Wright did not have a great time filming Black Panther Wakanda forever uh, her comments about the vaccine set off a huge online controversy, as many of you recall. And there were rumors that Black Panther Wakanda Forever had to be delayed because she refused to get vaccinated and couldn't enter the United States. But beyond those rumors, there was certainly a delay at the very least. She was injured. And it was a serious injury, which in recent interviews has described it as traumatic she certainly been promoting the movie and lupita niango has been doing a lot of the heavy lifting and dancing that was fantastic the rumor in hollywood is that while filming she was pretty clear about not wanting to return after this movie she was like i'm done after this which was originally she was going to pass the black panther mantle to Umbaku at the end of the movie but it seems that she changed her mind or the least reserved the right to change her mind as the new film leaves a open ending with seeming to him that she will continue as Black Panther while Umbaku will rule Wakanda. Now after seeing how good of a job she did in this last movie, I think she's incredible, and I think she deserves at least one more outing in the Black Panther suit, especially because they made her character so interesting, uh, her affinity with Killmonger, uh, how he feels. That emotional journey was pretty well done, and the teacher by the fantastic job there. So uh, I will be happy if that continues now i think for a movie we talk about disney plus show but they're making a wakanda disney plus show but i think you can start to see all the pieces uh, come together but i think the in the movies you'll probably hopefully see chewy in avengers kane dynasty and or maybe Fantastic Four because of the strong science connection. Black Panther has always had a connection with the Fantastic Four in the comics, particularly recently as for Nemo and so there's Ken. And this corner of the MCU is expanding rapidly and getting very interesting, especially with some rumors that they might respond we and we'll see. As for little T'Challa, there are two ways they can go with this. One is Young Avengers. Now, in the comments, Patria is the leader of the team, and Elijah Bradley was introduced in Falcon and the Winter Soldier. However, the actor was involved in a very popular brawl in Disney World just about a year ago, which they managed to keep relatively quiet. And Bay has gotten out and was suddenly go out if he were to return in a large capacity. They could recast the world, but perhaps T'Challa Jr. could lead the young Avengers instead. Uh, the team is almost already here. We got Kate Bishop, played by Haley Steinfeld, 
Hawkeye fan favorite in the comments already in the MCU is Torture is coming in Iron Man Quantumania Cassie Lamb played by Catherine Newton America Chavez already show up played by Sergio Gomez in Multiverse of Madness Joe Locke is 99% playing an older Wiccan uh, uh, to be aged up himself and introduced in a wife in Agatha Coven of Chaos along with his brother Speed and very likely Hawkling either there or in Secret Invasion very soon very soon it could be scarred there I would think that would not go over well but he will also has Scar introduced just recently in Chiho and will be briefly meet Kid Loki. Although these last two, they could have done much better with those two characters that are so popular with fans in the comments. But I think their popularity then will go up with the, these iterations of these characters there's also the champions team in the comments which is kind of like john avengers 2.0 and that's got miss marvel as a leader so i think you could put her in under ncu's john avengers i don't know who just in was just introduced in black panther wakanda forever and willie williams was just introduced and just getting her own disney plus show already miles morales was a major member of the champions team in the comments although who knows how long it's going to take sony to get him into live action and he won't be a proper ncu character anyway so again little t'challa could fit this spot potentially as well nova in development in the NCU already and then with Vision we many of us wonder if Vision Quest will Vision's family will be built and with Vision is actually a pretty interesting cool character and then also don't forget about Love a ghost daughter adopted by Thor who now has the powers of a god herself and is a Christian's daughter so the young avengers as you can see they are here and they are very female centric so far they need more mem male members that's another reason why little t'challa could be a very very valuable to the team kevin faggy just need to assemble the young avengers in a movie or a disney plus show now the ach the other action is a time jump now over at DC, they did this with Jonathan Kemp and sent him into space with his grandpa, well, evil grandpa, and HMR. And now he's kind of uh, taking over the Superman mantle in the comics. And that makes me wonder if T'Challa's personality, his son's personality, would be different from his. Like, how will the son be? I think they did a great job showing and Shui is different from T'Challa and how will T'Challa Jr. be different? He's got to be a little bit different or either just essentially they recast the character. But you know, this makes me think of Ken. Ken, of course, manipulates time so he could age him up and that, that would be interesting and what if he's little t'challa now oh my god that would be amazing but i just thought that he might be a member of the royal family in the comments he's actually a variation of nathaniel riches a relative of riches and because of that but what is there because it's also uh, for the science connection what if he was a member of the Wakanda world family and he would be related to Chewie because you know technically uh, technical capabilities uh, but maybe he could be young T'Challa a variation of young T'Challa and then Jonathan Mayus could be the new Black Panther and Ken yes that's too complicated but he could be uh, uh, via uh, uh, related to the family and I think is maybe a way to go because Wakanda of course is an incredible high 
tag nation and i really like this idea now in the secret wars uh Kame, the 2015 version doom versus black panther was a major part of that story with the two of them having this iconic fight and now they already took T'Challa's fight with Nemo away by giving it to Chewy. but because of Chewie's boss man passing I don't think they can give Chewy the Doom fight too I think that you get a Black Panther here and it's got to be T'Challa but now he's got to be T'Challa Jr so somehow we can shenanigans you age him little T'Challa and then ha, ha, then come there as an adult to fight Doom in Secret Wars and I think could be excellent so there isn't enough time before Secret Wars to do Young Avengers uh, and we jump to Chara, have him age up in Secret Wars so they have to go either or so. I'm curious which one will you vote for? I'm kind of leaning towards Secret Wars and find somebody else for Young Avengers. I like the Ken stuff quite a bit. And I think that's more worthy of uh, that storyline and the uh, and the characters and I would love to see Nakia be a big part of little T'Challa's story as Queen Ramonda was such a big important part of her children's life and that could be the Wakanda Disney Plus show introducing Willy with some dead little T'Challa that would be great so there are a lot of options here a lot of possibilities that can go and I'm curious which one do you prefer and if you have any theories or ideas um very interesting to hear and see your thoughts so that's my breakdown for the post courtesy of black panther wakanda forever if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button consider subscribe to your channel and like always thank you so much for watching bye bye